Hello and welcome. My name is Brenda, if you're new here, and my current obsession is cross-stitch. So I will be updating you on what I've been up to this past week with that. Um, I was going to film yesterday, but a storm rolled through here and it was cloudy all day, so I didn't really have enough light to film by. Um, yeah, they woke us up at like, I think it was four in the morning with tornado warnings, so didn't really get a good night's sleep either. Um, but it's all good now, and we didn't have any crazy stuff happen here. Uh, my parents' house, they had their whole uh, privacy fence blow down in their backyard, so uh, they're working on getting that fixed up. But yeah, my husband's birthday was yesterday, and I, I wanted to stitch something for him, um, but I didn't get around to getting the floss that I needed for it in time. And I didn't show you guys the pattern because he watches my videos and I didn't want him to see it. But I showed it to him yesterday since it's going to be a while until I get the floss anyway. Um, but I'll, I'll show you what that was. I bought it the same time I bought my Haunted Mansion pattern. I can't remember what it, the name of it was. But I bought this pattern and that one from Good Morning Maui on Etsy. So I'll put a picture of this other pattern that I got, which is from uh, Tiger King. We, I know it's, it's kind of a guilty pleasure that we <laughs> watched last year. I think a lot of people watched. Um, but I wanted to make that for him because I thought it was, it was cute and funny. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have any haul or anything this week, but I, I had bought that previously. So, yeah, we just enjoyed his birthday and had more cake than we should have between his birthday and mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good. And also, I had mentioned my isopods last week and how I haven't seen them. And I still haven't seen them very much, but uh, I think it was two days ago, I saw two of them. And so that made me feel better seeing some of them um, but they're still very reclusive I'm hoping they're not a really a kind that just really kind of hides away all the time but they may be and that's okay um, it is what it is at this point um, but they're my my little babies <laughs> um, uh, and on Thursday my husband and I went and got our uh, vaccine um, we got the Moderna one, so my arm has been sore. It's a little better today. It's a little sore um, since then. But besides that, it's been fine. Um, so as far as stitching, I started a new one, which if you've been following along, you know, is my Lord of the Rings pattern. I... I'll go ahead and show you. I, have, I haven't taken pictures yet, so I I wanted to get these extra threads uh, pushed back before I take a picture, but this is how far I've gotten. And I think I'll take a picture and just show you. It's not wanting to work very well. Um, but I have 715 stitches in so far. And this is part of, I'll show you a picture of what it's going to look like once it's done. So this is the ring and then it has the different characters in the middle. So I'll take a picture and put that in place. So I'm stitching it and I feel like the grid, you know, was I felt like it was pretty. And I know the grid doesn't have anything to do with anything because that's going to be taken out anyway but the stitches take away from the grid I feel like and the and the grid takes away from the stitches um but I know in the end that they're not gonna be there um but yeah the grid kind of just distracts from the pattern 
but it has helped a lot. Uh, I, I like having the grid on. Um, it helps me count a little faster. So it's worked for the purpose that I put it in there. And I still do enjoy the, the look of the grid, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got 715 stitches in that. And that's my new start. I started it on my birthday. And I, I've enjoyed it so far, even though it has been difficult to see. I have my magnifying light and it's, you know, it's working well enough. I was going to put it on a scroll frame, but I realized that I like being able to move it different ways so that I can see it a little bit better. So I just have it on my Q-snap and that's working well for me. Um, I'm, I'm holding it while I stitch. It's an 11 by 11 Q-snap and I find it a little bit annoying to have to hold because then I have to go from back to front with just one hand instead of having it on a stand. But this one did end up being a little bit too heavy, being the bigger fabric and Q-snap for my stand. So my husband's going to work on that a little bit and see if we can get it to hold it properly so that I can use both hands while I stitch. So I was in the middle of editing and noticed that I forgot to mention how I felt about the fabric that I was using for the Lord of the Rings pattern. It's a 28 count Jobelin. And after using the Lugana for the Hade that I have, which is a 25 count Lugana, I, I don't like the Jobelin as much. It is a much looser weave. So I'm spending extra time trying to be gentle when I'm stitching and not pull too hard or sometimes having to fix, you know, the thread. Um, so I much prefer the Lugana. The only reason why I got the Joblin was because I didn't have a um, black Lugana at where I ordered my fabric from at the time in the size that I wanted. So I'm still liking it. It's just not as easy to stitch on it. And also I feel like it looks a little, even though I'm doing the same one over one, and I thought doing 28 count compared to the 25 would be uh, fine doing that, which it is. It's just, I feel like it's not as dense when I look at the 25 count on the Lugana everything is packed together and I don't see the fabric on the, the on the Jobelin I do but I didn't feel like I wanted to use two threads over one um I didn't try but I just felt like it covered enough that I was fine with it so that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> but yeah, that was that. And then I did some work on my heaven and earth design. And I've gotten to the point, I'll put the picture, I've gotten to the point where I'm down to the uh, bottom of the spring row. And so I'm excited because last night I stitched down to that part where there's a little bit of tree showing. So now when I start stitching today, I can move over and start working on some different stuff. So I'm excited about that. I got up to 5,271 stitches, but this last week I got 866 in that one. Um, when I switched, I had worked on the, I keep grabbing it. I don't know why I keep grabbing it. Um, <laughs> I started that on my birthday, which was the same day that I filmed last week's video. 
and I stitched on that one for I think three or four days and switched over to my my Hade and then it took a little bit of getting this is the first time I've like switched in between projects so it took a little bit for me to get used to moving over to this different one because at first I didn't really want to I wanted to keep stitching on the Lord of the Rings one but but I want to get progress on both so when I switched over it was just kind of I was like eh. and I was having a little bit of a problem kind of focusing on what I was doing but then once I got going I I really got into it and then I now I don't know how it will be if I want to switch over to the other one um, but I guess it's just something you get used to. Um, I would like to have multiple projects going on to kind of switch it up. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so that's all as far as stitching and stitch related stuff. I like to look on Instagram and see other people's stuff and look at other patterns. And I have noticed that I really have an affinity for patterns that have lanterns or light source like I think it typically is lanterns I don't know what it is I'll put some pictures of some of the ones that I've been drawn to I don't know I I've, 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 I just want to stitch all of the lanterns I don't, I don't know <laughs> um, but I, ha I don't have any patterns with lanterns but I I will at some point get some um, yeah, is there, is there things like that you have that don't really make any sense, but you're just really drawn to it? I mean, I, I like lanterns, but there's no... I, I didn't have any thought before that until I saw the patterns. Um, it's kind of like I'm drawn to witch patterns, but I understand that one because I love witches. And so obviously I want to have witch patterns, but lanterns? I don't know, but I do. Um, so this past week I joined TikTok because my husband is on there and he's always looking at it and I just never really got it that much. I didn't really want another thing that was a time sink either, especially not something that I can't cross stitch and do that as well. <laughs> um, but I ended up getting it to see if there was any kind of crafting stitching content. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on there, but if you know of any cool crafting stitching uh, people on there, uh, if you could leave their name, then I will check them out. Um, but I did try a recipe from a TikTok um, that my husband sent me, and it was for... I can't remember what it was called. I'll link it below. Um, but it was for baking some bacon. And she, like, twisted up the bacon and put it all in on a... She put the... I use, like, the silicone mat things. But she put down parchment paper and put down the bacon. Um, and then put it in the oven, I can't remember, 350 or 400 for 20 minutes, and then flipped them around and then another 20 minutes. And I think it could have used a little bit longer on mine, but I went ahead and pulled them out. But it was, it's supposed to be like a good mix of chewy and crunchy, and I would agree. Um, so yeah, try that out if you, if you like bacon and... <laughs> We would like to try a different uh, way of eating it. And I don't know, the, the texture of it and the fact that it was in the little twist, I, I don't know. It was enjoyable. <laughs> um, so yeah, I... And now I'm into watching just the other TikToks and it totally reeled me in. At first it didn't, but then after a week I, I got on there and now I, I have another time sink. Um, so I have to try to not do that too much. I need to get stitching done. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, I think that's really about it for right now. I, I can't think of anything 
else that's really gone on. Um, but I'm excited to move on to the next section of my paid and to get going on this that I keep looking at <laughs> and show you next week how far I've gotten and what it looks like. So thank you for watching and happy stitching.